Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight and I've got a bit of a change of scenery here today uh, because the blocks we're going to be looking at are this one here which is the mining well and this one here which is the pump. Now these are both Billcraft uh, blocks so they work on Billcraft power and uh, neither one of them has a, a right click interface so they are as they are, single block machines. Recipes for them the mining well, you've got six iron down the sides, an iron gear in the middle with a pickaxe on top and a redstone dust underneath. Um, that's wrong. The iron pick is on the bottom and the redstone's on the top. Now, the pump is one of those mining wells with a tank on top, and the tank is just eight blocks of glass in a chest formation in the chest in the in the crafting table. Now, the mining well, basically what it will do is it will dig down in a straight line while it's got build craft power on. Now, I've got a stone, a steam engine here with some coal in, so if we turn that on, what will happen is you'll see it's ticking down and stuff is basically being thrown out the top. Now, let's see if we can use a red power tube on that and the red power tube is not connecting so we can't use that build craft pipe will work so we can use a build craft pipe and then a chest on the top or any other method of distribution you can shun that as far as you like using uh, build craft pipes and what we can also do is we can just put that straight on the top and it will go straight into the chest now you can use a slightly more powerful engine and it will go through this in a matter of seconds but the steam engine tends to take it's about I want to say about 90 seconds to work and you're going to use up about one maybe two coal I think it's two coal to get all the way down to the bottom so two coal steam engine that's going to dig you a hole from top to bedrock pretty much uh, we're probably quite high here at the moment let's see we're, we're at level 78 so that's a bit normal than the regular ground levels so it might take three coal to get all the way down but we'll see when that's finished um, the pump here Basically what the pump will do is it will lower this um, tube from the bottom of it until it reaches water. Now I have it set up here so that it's got water directly underneath it but if that water was 10-20 blocks down it would still work. Now it will also pump lava as well but I'm just using water in this demonstration because it's easier and water will replace itself. Now. The way I have this powered is I have four redstone engines. Now four redstone engines is enough to keep this pump running at a decent speed. Uh, certainly to fill up these pipes. So if we turn these guys on, what you'll see happening is this centre water block will disappear every now and then once it these engines warm up and we'll start seeing the liquid flowing into these tanks and this tank here is exactly the same kind of tank that we put on top of the mining well to make the pump so once this gets going hopefully we should start to see some water flowing there you go so that will basically when it gets around here start filling up this tank and then you can use it for for various other things. Now you can pump oil. Um, one of the things that Buildcraft adds is actually oil uh, wells around the, the map. So you can pump oil, lava or water, and it all works the same way. Now you may want to use gold transport pipes for this. It just means that you can move stuff a little bit quicker. Um, you don't actually lose any liquid by using stone pipes so I tend to just use the stone pipes 
because it's a lot cheaper. Um, and there we go. Let's have a look. See how much this is. Pretty much done. And we've used up three three coal there. This is still going, but I don't think it's actually doing any work. There's nothing coming out, so we can turn that off. So we've used up three stone, and if we get rid of this now, what we're left with is um, is the mining pipe. Now, what you can do, if you go down here, let me just switch mode. What you get is this mining pipe here. Now, that isn't actually used for anything. But if you were to go all the way down, you can actually use it to get back up to the top again. Now the one thing to be mindful of is if you go to any lava or anything like that, because you're going to end up getting rather warm feet. So if you get all the way to the bottom, and as you can see, yeah that's what happens if you run into lava and as my live stream viewers will know death by lava is a frequent occurrence for me so uh, that pretty much wraps it up I think um, I was going to show you let me spawn some in just to show you the mining pipe this mining pipe you can place down and you would be able to use that to get back up to the surface it's got no other real function apart from that so that that is that I think you can recycle them possibly someone will tell me if that's wrong um, otherwise that is the mining well and the pump let me know if I missed anything which I'm sure I have done uh, I should probably add that the pump is better to work on a 3x3 three three, um, water pool than a 2x2 two two one. Just means that you've got more chance of it staying there and not taking two blocks at the same time, two source blocks at the same time. But thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Be sure to follow me on Twitch and Twitter as well. And I'll be back tomorrow with another Spotlight.